Hi everyone, the next Coolify service that we're going to be self-hosting is called Light LLM. It's an open source LLM gateway to help you manage authentication, load balancing, and tracking across all of your LLMs. By the end of the video, you will have self-hosted it and you will get a Swagger UI here, as well as an admin panel that looks like this. This is where you'll be able to create keys, test them, and also view your models and your usage and everything else that light llm has to offer so i'm going to show you how to self-host it let's go into coolify and in the projects tab let's hit add i'm going to call our project light llm select the production environment and then click add a new resource search for light llm in the search bar and then select the server where we want to host it on. So here, it's a couple of things. The first thing is that if you want to change your username and password, you can do that right now over here. And the second thing is if we were to deploy, we would actually get an error because it will complain that we are trying to deploy with some enterprise features. And since I don't have an enterprise license, I need a way to work around that. So we're gonna go into the storages tab and in here, we're going to modify this config.yaml file so that we remove the enterprise features. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this Prometheus system in the service callback here. And the second thing we're going to do is we're going to comment out the Prometheus lines right here in the success callback. And we're going to uncomment langfuse and hit save. So now what we've done is we have uncommented Prometheus. And the next thing is we've uncommented Langfuse. And although we don't have a Langfuse API key to use here, it will at least bypass the error on startup. So we'll be able to launch the application. Let's go back to the service stack tab. And just before we deploy, let's shorten the URL. So let's remove the extra string here going to copy this section without the port hit save so now let's go ahead and hit deploy now that our light llm container has started we can go ahead and close this window and if everything goes as planned this will turn to healthy it seems like our changes in the config.yaml file worked we have a healthy container so let's go ahead and open it up in a new tab and there we go we have light llm self-hosted so it comes with a Swagger API page, as well as an admin panel page here that we're going to open right now. So in our admin panel, it requires us to log in with the username and password. So we're going to go ahead and do that now with the username and password that was automatically generated for us. Let's copy the password. And now you are in. And as you can see, there's an error at the top, and I believe that's because uh, Langfuse is not running. But regardless, that's how you self host it. And ideally, you probably want to use this with an enterprise license. So you can hit this uh, button right here to figure out on how to do that. But Light LLM comes with a lot of powerful features to test different models and uh, your usage with those models. So I'm not going to go through all of those features because I myself am not versed in Light LLM at all. So I would recommend that you watch some other videos on YouTube on how to do that. But that's going to be it for this video. We've successfully self-hosted Light LLM and bypassed the issue with the enterprise license that's required. So with that, I will see you in the next video.